Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm the child of Holocaust survivors from Germany. My father came to this country in 1938, my mother in 1940, each hoping and both working together to seek the emigration of other family members. Alas, they could not save all. In October 1940, my mother's parents, my father's sister and new husband, and my father's grandparents, age 91 and 96, were among the 40,000 Jews rounded up from the southwestern part of Germany and transported to the Nazi camp Gouris in southwestern France. I wouldn't want to take that journey on a good day in an air-conditioned train. And here they were forced in cattle cars in unspeakable conditions to make the trip. Shortly after the gr grueling trip, my great-grandfather died. Those who survived Gouris were eventually transported west towards Auschwitz, where they met their ultimate fates. They were transported by the French railroad SNCF, which profited greatly from its collaboration with Germany. The company was paid per head per kilometer. For nearly a decade, I have been part of a group of survivors and their descendants seeking justice from SNCF. We want the railroad to take responsibility for its actions, to open its archives so that we can finally know what happened and seek some measure of justice. Last year, a window of opportunity opened with a proposed high-speed rail project in Maryland. SNCF wanted to bid on this very lucrative contract. In the spring, the state of Maryland passed the historic Bill of Disclosure, which requires any company wishing to bid on the deal to open its record of activities during those war years. SNCF, having fought tooth and nail to oppose this bill, now is required to make its archives accessible if it wants to do business in the state. This is a major step in our seeking justice. In large measure, this legislation passed because of the efforts of the Associated and the Baltimore Jewish Council. It was the Associated and BJC's efforts which helped enable us to get this legislation through. My mother mourned the loss of her parents for more than 70 years after their horrible murder. Every night when she said Shema, she uttered an extra prayer to God that the last few seconds of her mother and father's lives went quickly in the gas chambers. The Associated does its part to ensure that Holocaust survivors are honored and that the memories of those who perished are never forgotten. I'm Ellen and I am associated.